in this video we're going to see how we can use aggregate functions in uh, <clears throat> SOQL and also we will see how we can able to process the output of an aggregate function in Apex. So talking about aggregate functions in SOQL, so basically we have uh, certain functions in SQL that allows us to roll up and summarize data when we write a query. For example, we can use average, sum, count, min, max, etc, etc, isn't it? So when we use aggregate functions and when we wanted to process the output back in the apex so we have a very special uh, way to you know handle the handle it in apex so we will be using aggregate result object so let's see how we can able to use this aggregate result and then read the output of aggregate uh, soql function uh, we will also see uh, about uh, alias name explicit and implicit alias by by just looking at an example so to demonstrate this what we have done is we have uh, uh, we have returned a simple uh, SQL query that uses aggregate function. As you can see, uh, there is a custom object named hotel review. So basically, it's like uh, if I go to the sample record, as you can just see, I have a hotel. You know, I have a hotel named Royal uh, Royal Palace Hotel, and uh, against this hotel, there are some reviews left by the customers that stayed on the hotel and we have we got uh, the customer reviews also we have the customer ratings so now if I want to see the if I want to calculate the average customer rating of this particular hotel then I certainly need to use aggregate function isn't it I can do an average on the customer rating if I want to see the maximum rating that was given by the customer to this particular account I can just use max of customer rating right so on so forth if I want to see minimum rating I can just say min etc rather if I want to see the total number of reviews uh, uh, re reviews recorded for a particular account I can use count so <clears throat> there are multiple you know multiple uh, reasons where uh, or scenarios where we have to use aggregate functions isn't it so let's see how many records uh, have been left by the customer for this hotel number one also we'll, we'll try to find average rating by writing a simple <clears throat> SQL query with aggregate functions then access that output back in the apex so let me go here so this is the aggregate this is the SQL query that uses aggregate function as you can just see I'm using the count of uh, ID to find the total number of reviews and then I'm using uh, average uh, aggregate function to find the average customer rating. So I'll be I'll be uh, grouping this by the account name. So this is my custom object. It has a lookup relationship with account. Sorry, master data relationship with account. So I'm using the relation relationship uh, um, you know syntax right here. The child relationship syntax right here. So let's copy this. Let's go back to the developer console and um, if I just let me just first run the query and then show you the output let's do that now you can just see this right I see against each account you know each hotel I see the total number of uh, reviews and also the average rating isn't it so this is what I wanted to process access back in the apex let's see how we can able to do that So I just open my <clears throat> anonymous window and uh, let me just copy and then paste that entire query right here. So as the documentation says, whenever you use SQL query that is using aggregate function, it is going to return me, it's going to return me an array of aggregate results objects, right? So let me use this aggregate results. Yeah, let me use this aggregate result and uh, it's an array, isn't it? I'll just say um, group results equal to, yeah. So now, since we have an array, it's an iterable, and let me just use a for loop just to loop to each and every, <clears throat> every you know, objects um, in the array. For aggregate result, group result let's say um, result uh, and then uh, group results so now what I can do is I can just simply access this 
system.debug let's say this is my account name I just want to access the account name how do I access account name very simple so we have this uh, result isn't it so result dot get off the name of the alias name basically I have used explicit alias now for each and every uh, column right that is returned by the circle query I have used uh, an alias name explicit alias this is what we call explicit alias name is the expl explicit alias for column one and the total reviews is the explicit alias for column two or field two and for this one average rating is the explicit alias name I can use this explicit alias to access the value so done <clears throat> so we have account name now so let me try to print the um, total reviews let's try to see our average rating okay so again how do we access let's use the explicit alias name right so basically access using explicit alias name yeah <clears throat> So now let's run this and then see the output first. Let's just kind of execute. Yes, let's not uh, look into other events. Let's look at only the debug statements. So I'll just enable this checkbox. Now you can just see this, right? So I can see the hotel name. I can see the total reviews and the average rating for each and every hotel, right? So this is how simple you can use aggregate result <coughs> class and um, access the result of your aggregate function. A result of your aggregate SQL right so there is one more thing before we uh, wind up let me just go back here so I just indicated about this I just use this explicit alias right to access the value what happens if I don't give an alias yeah go, don't give an alias now what happens how do I access the value of value of this total reviews right so this is where the implicit alias come into the play so now if we go back this is the definition so whenever we write a circle query with aggregate function if you do not add an explicit alliance to a field then the system will automatically automatically create you know implied alias or implicit alias with a format expression followed by i where the i is a number that starts from zero to you know and it's incremented by one wherever it don't find uh, it doesn't find you know an explicit alias name so in this case in this case <clears throat> right now I don't have an alias name for this one isn't it so in this case what I should do is I should say expr0 because this is the first field that does not have an implied or does not have an explicit explicit alias name isn't it so now the result or the outcome will be just the same so let me just click on execute yes let's debug let's filter only on the debug statements as you can see we got the output isn't it so either ways you can either use explicit alias if you have one return you know if you included one in the circle query otherwise you can use implied you know alias or implicit alias so let me just knock this off okay so now I got two fields two fields you know that do not have explicit uh, alias name right? so now how do I access this average rating it's expr then followed by the number so as I said earlier it starts from 0 and it gets incremented by 1 right so now <clears throat> let's see that click on ex execute yes we got the log files let's only filter the debug statements the output is just the same correct so either ways whether you use implicit alias or explicit alias you know you can able to access the value or the field values isn't it so if we go back here this is you know the simplest way to access uh, value of your aggregate uh, SQL query isn't it so <clears throat> yes so always remember this implied alias as well right but the best practice is try uh, giving explicit alias so we will know uh, the purpose of each you know each field so I would rather prefer to go with this way okay all the time instead of you know implied alias that's the best practice or the tip to remember i hope you have found this uh, video helpful i'll see you in the next video thank you